Three weeks now from Election Day, and if you live in the city of Wichita, odds are your mailbox is full of flyers from organizations supporting one of the two mayoral candidates. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm David Scott. And I'm Deb Ferris. However, recent mailers from both sides have come under fire for being misleading. Cakes Jackson over Street joins us in studio with new information. Political experts say oftentimes these mailers present a legitimate fact, but frame it in a way that either supports or rejects the candidate they are for. So the best thing is to always double check the source. We have the pulse of the men and women of the Wichita Police Department, and we do not, do not support Mayor Whipple as the next mayor. This strong rebuke coming from the Wichita Fraternal Order of Police on Monday. In response to a recent campaign mailer sent out showing current Mayor Brandon Whipple support for law enforcement over the last four years. While the FOP denounced it, Whipple backed up the claims in the mailer sent by the Kansas Democratic Party, saying in part, quote, I work closely with our police chief and his team to support his plan to modernize our police department. I'm confident WPD is on the right track, despite missing leading statements by the Wichita FOP. Political experts say this is all part of messaging when campaigning. How it is framed, how it is presented, the imagery that goes with it, the, the fonts that go with it, um, they're going to condition the way we receive that information, which on its own it might actually be pretty straightforward. Dr. Russell Arben Fox with Friends University says there are little rules that govern what can be said in a mailer outside of not lying to the public. And so oftentimes, especially mailers from third party organizations are rooted in fact, but it's from the perspective of what the group wants to achieve. There absolutely is a line. It's just, it's quite a ways out there. There's an awful lot of stuff you can do up to the point of that line. And we're seeing that now. And this mailer isn't the only issue. Both candidates have come out in recent weeks pushing back on claims made by other ones from third party organizations, saying they have been misleading. You should be taking a look at the stuff that you receive in your mailbox or the stuff that shows up in the, the you know, your inbox and your phone. And you should be, you know, thinking, OK, where did this quote actually come from? What is the, the larger story here? Now, Fox says mailers from third party groups tend to get less scrutiny from voters because their potential biases isn't as well known as something coming from a candidate's campaign. He says simply again, double checking that information that is being put out there can be very helpful for a voter to cut through what is fact. In Studio Jackson Overstreet, Cake News on your side.